a motivational moment. Life is lived. One day at a time, and one by small victories. These are not new keys to the mysteries of making life a magical experience for you, but they are true. What you do in the small is what you do about it all. How it grows great, big and tall. And what you do in the micro becomes the macro and you'll become the massive. So don't be passive in your pursuit. Be resolute. Salute your master and make and make yourself your shaper. Shape your day to be what make you happy. Make you thrive. Make you feel alive. For what you do in the minor will become the major. The wage. The wager. Bet on it. It will become more true and come to you. I'm not saying go out and gamble, but I am enabling you to roll the dice of your life. Take a chance to dance, to change, to range your emotion, and discover you're an ocean of possibilities. Wonders unknown are shown when new seeds are sown. So throwing caution to the wind, I'm instructing you to live, to live, to live, and give life the best of yourself. This is the test of yourself. Be in it to win it. Get the job done. Do the work. Ride the week. All in. Give it everything. See how far you can go. See who you can become. Do not let your limitations be your losses. You're not your failures. Do not let your losses be your limitation. Do not let your bosses control your situation. Have no hesitation. Allow no reservation. Prevent your preservation. You are a master in creation. You are a master in creation. The divide between the sides of the winner and loser can be split by a second. A judgment call would fall on a forever failure. Fall forward and take notes on the way down on how to get back up. The creator leaves clues and builds character through navigating, creating. The fall will leave clues. It calls you to rise again, to rise again. Does the tree suffer when it loses its leaves? When the wind blows against its barren back under the cold dead weight of winter? Does the tree worry about the weather? And thirstily ask, when will the rain start? Or drowning drunk, begging for it to stop? Does the flower stem to bloom? Just to bend to doom in a tomb of dirt again? But before the fall, call or call, it seeds the bees. But do the bees worry about the wind? Blowing them about, no doubt. They too feel the forces coursing against them. But do they buzz about it? Do they fuzz and fuss about the resistance? Or are they sweet in their honeyed persistence? These are bees. We're talking about bees. Not flies. Those guys are for those ugly forces, those discourses, recourses, and opposing forces. We're talking about bees. Trust me. The fly and the vinegar are bitter to the quitter. But the hitter of slugs and bugs and grand slams has no plans for the goddamns and don't have some irritations. Consider these annoying and keep going. The pester will fester, so sequester a solution and free yourself of the pollution. Does the seagull smell the garbage of the food? Do the birds' attitude of their still good eats in here? These trash treats change his range of ability to survive and thrive. No shortage of fat seagulls eating McDonald's. 
Does the seagull's ability to ignore the garbage smell give him the skill to scavenge for food and not kill it? A scavenger, a ravager, a scavenger, a ravager, a savage, for sure both, trying to survive. But only the above average can dive their alive energy to thrive. Like the bees from the hive, like the bees from the hive. The trees working, rooted together to make a forest. The breeze, their breath, blowing, knowing, will be showing the bees some lofty opposition. But this proposition creates pollination. As the seeds of creation flower life, the birds are alive by any means, as do two all dreams come to those listening to the wind blowing, knowing these are going to be filling your sails to prevail and entail the weather to overcome and to treasure your gifted pleasure to fulfill your dream to every measure okay so you're not a lion or a gazelle you're a bee so flower you're a master